So, hi. Um, I'm stressed, but I'm well dressed, and that is because today I have a date. <laughs> Basically, I'm like in a weird mood because I'm late and I need to get ready, but I'm just getting straight into my hair. I also don't know what I'm doing with my hair. I'm just very stressed because probably the worst thing you could do for a date is be late. But also, it's like maybe good to be fashionably late. Like, who knows? So anyway, I'm gonna dry my hair. <laughs> So the problem is, I don't know how to have my hair. I'm tossing up between crimping it, but that'll take some time, so maybe not. I was gonna put in my extensions so I could look all nice, long, and pretty. But again, do I have time for that? No. So, I think the best option is to straighten my hair, which is kind of disappointing and like unprofessional on my side, you know? I'm trying to show the best version of myself, but again, maybe this is a blessing in disguise because I don't wanna look like I tried too hard. I don't usually talk about my love life because it's very dry. I don't have one. I don't reply to guys in my DMs because I don't want to meet a guy online. And most of the guys that are in my DMs are from like LA or different countries. So like, what's the point of that? But you know, if we could travel, it might be a different story. But like, I just... Uh... I can't be bothered. I'm like a really bad texter and everyone that knows me hates texting me because I just don't reply. I have this habit of replying in my head. It's really bad, it's really bad. I don't really give myself many options because I just don't talk to anyone and I can't be bothered. So when I do start seeing a guy, it's like, whoa. And yeah, I don't like to post my relationship stuff online because like, what if we stop talking? You know, that's kind of weird. Guys do this thing where they fake their personality for like the first three months. I say to the guy and I'm like, look, I know you're faking it right now. Just give it up. Show your toxic self. And I was like, no, I'm so perfect. And it's always a lie. It's always a lie. Every time. So you just gotta wait that three month period and then they will give up their facade and then you can be disappointed and then you can leave. I'm going off today, but I don't give a f because do I deserve to be stepped over by a man? No. Me? So this man that I'm seeing today hasn't me over as of yet. He's someone I've been seeing for a while now and I'm really excited to introduce you guys to him. I met him through Siobhan and he is just a gorgeous soul. But yeah, I'm gonna add some plaits because I'm a bad Look at that. When you guys do plaits, does that happen? A weird knot is created at the bottom. <sighs> Let's see how fast I can plait. It's pretty fast, hey? All right, so I've done three plaits. I can't really be bothered doing any more plaits. So let's go do my makeup. Okay, you guys. So I'm here in my room and I'm just gonna get ready quickly here, okay? I feel like this whole video is just Leah questioning whether or not she'll be late and procrastinating and stressing. But anyways, I got my nails done recently by the lovely Vicky from Cessna Artistry. So I'll show you the process, but Every time she kills it. And I have been getting pointy recently. So like if a man does me wrong, I can just gorge their eyes out. Um, two birds with one stone, if you get what I mean. Nails, but also weapon. <laughs> So yeah, that was how she did my nails and I'm obsessed with them. So let's get into the makeup. Usually I would be getting ready in my makeup room. I think you guys already know why I'm not because I'm late. I don't have time to set things up. So I'm just quickly getting ready here. And if you guys watched my Vogue video, if you haven't leave this video, you can come back, but go watch it. I got this hourglass lip gloss and I think it's a lip plumper. So I put this on before I put my makeup on. Gotta have those kissable lips. But yeah, guys, recently I have been so tired, so unmotivated. And I know this sounds like really weird, but I think it might be the crystals that I bought recently. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. If you haven't watched my crystal vlog, go watch that. But basically that day that I went to the crystal farm with Siobhan, I was like instantly tired when I got there. Like I was drained. I don't know, I was making up these excuses, but like the night before I had a good rest, like maybe it was the drive, maybe I hadn't eaten enough, but I was in a good mood that morning. And then when I got to the crystal farm, I was like instantly drained of energy. But, like it's weird because I thought crystals give you energy. Anyways, I bought a heap of crystals, some for my mom, some for my dad, and my dad is 
is a very science-based man. He does not believe anything that's not proven. He's very rational. He's a very rational man. So honestly, I didn't even know whether or not he believed in crystals or not. I don't know if I believe in crystals or not. But yeah, that night when Siobhan and I got home, we napped. Like my energy has just been drained. It was just so weird and unlike me. Anyways, so basically the crystal that I gave my dad, he would sleep with it under his pillow. I don't know why. That's just something he decided to do. And he's been complaining to me about all of these headaches. But as soon as he leaves for work and he gets to work, his headache stops. And my dad has cats and the cats stopped going into his room. Really weird. So my dad, he stopped sleeping with the crystal under his pillow and the headaches went away and the cats started coming back into his room. Isn't that weird? Someone that knows about crystals, please explain because I don't really know. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm going to start on the eyes. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of do light pinky tones. Keep it real pretty and pink. But yeah, um, I've also come to the conclusion that my accent has changed. As you guys know, I'm Australian. But for some reason, I talk when I'm filming in like different accents. Like I put on an American accent and I do all this weird stuff and I just can't help it. It just happens. And like when I answer the phone, I'm like, hello, how are you? Like... When did that start? But I don't just mean like my accent has changed as in like I put on an accent. Like my actual talking accent has changed. I'll try and find a video of me talking when I was like 15. I've decided that I'm not going to do anything about it because it never works. I've been eating so much and I cannot deal with my life. It's so good. My voice sounds so Australian. I can't even do it. It was just so Australian. I can't believe my voice has changed so much. And like, how did it change? Anyways, so I recently got these KVD Vegan Beauty Dazzle Sticks and they are so cute. This one's like a gold and this one is like a champagne pink. So I'm going to mix the two and put them on my lids. You know what? I'm just going to put it straight on my eye. That was probably a great mistake. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. I honestly shouldn't be complaining about my love life because it's actually been quite decent this year. Like I got married. What the f did I just do all? Oh, what did I just do? I have to cancel, I have to cancel, I have to cancel my day. But yeah, as I was saying, I got married, I got divorced, I had a baby. So much has happened and now I'm going on a date. So yeah, I'm going to give myself a cute little wing with the KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Line in the shade Mad Max Brown. All right, so now I'm going to smoke out these wings with that brown shade. Oh my God, this is hideous. All right, I'm starting my face makeup. So I'm putting some of these glow drops on. I'm also putting on some NARS share glow okay that's empty foundation oh my god see what i mean with the accent i don't even realize i'm doing it look at my hair look at my hair the braids are ruined what was the point of doing my hair that's the question of the day what was the point i'm now going to highlight with the hourglass vanish stick see oh my god the accent just can't help myself all right i'm going to powder with this hourglass translucent powder also i'm in daylight savings and it is horrible it's starting to get dark really early and my life is going to turn to shambles because i just i can't i hate the dark i hate winter i'm not even just saying this like to be dramatic like i actually genuinely I genuinely think I have seasonal depression. Like I'm so much more sad in winter than I am in summer. And like all I did last winter was complain about how I wanted it to be summer. I swear like in all of my videos, I just talk about the weather and how much I hate winter and how much I love summer. But like, again, there's nothing I can even do about it. So I need to just suck it up because I can't control the weather. I wish I could, but unfortunately I cannot. And that's just something I have to deal with. I'm contouring the nasal cavity. Also you guys, my obsession with star signs is just through the roof every new person i meet what are you if you are a star sign that i'm not compatible with i just won't i won't try i'm not gonna bother <laughs> because it's true it's true i swear i'm now going to blush with the scott Barnes blush palette like look how blushed i am isn't that just insane i'm also going to add some cute little natural freckles i think freckles is like one of my most favorite parts of makeup it just makes it look so cute i'm actually just reverse contouring <coughs> Oh my god, I just inhaled that. I'm now going to spray my face with this iconic London glow spray. I'm going to overline my lips so they're nice and kissable. Oh, I overline that so much, maybe too much. I'm just gonna put some of this on. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. Oh my god, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting excited but nervous, you know what I mean? On a first date, you always gotta be confident. Even if you're nervous, don't show them because you're better than them. You're a woman and they're a man. So remember that. No hate to males. Like, I love males sometimes, but like, you're a woman. You're a creature that is just beautiful. So don't forget that, ladies. When you're on a date, just remember my little voice saying,
How y'all doing? All right, I'm gonna add a little inner eye cat wing. Okay, so I just curled my lashes and I'm putting on the telescopic mascara. I need my lashes to look very nice and long and flirtatious. And now I'm just putting on this caution mascara by Hourglass. This mascara combination is insane, like the best I've ever had. But yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. I have this peachy goodness with my beautiful nails. I'm gonna call him and I can't wait for you guys to meet him. I have to remember what I preach. Guys, my man has just arrived to pick me up. I'm so excited. Let's go see him. Hey, babe. Hey. So this is my boyfriend, Sean. He's a Taurus, which is, again, my perfect yeah. match. Yeah. Yeah. How long have we known each other for? A week. I think we've known each other definitely more than a week because Siobhan introduced us a while ago. And I just, and I just think he's... <laughs> And the way he drives is just so hot. So I actually posted Sean to my Instagram last night and I got a heap of replies from girls like being jealous and like wanting to like date him and honestly it made me really mad. What do you do for work? I'm a plumber. Or I study biomedicine. <laughs> but yeah, do you have anything to like say to my viewers? Yeah, Leo Holton is my boo. Fame don't mean sh Okay, so I spent like an hour getting ready for you. What you do look you amazing. Habibti. You look beautiful to me. Okay, so we've actually arrived at the destination. Wait, this is such a cute like couple photo. I love you. I love you too. Look at me when you say it. I love you too. <laughs> he's a real gentleman, so he's gonna like open the door for me, aren't you? Yeah. Look at him opening the door for me. This is so romantic. Your underwear out. <laughs> Look at him helping me out. <laughs> Look how handsome he is. Wow. Me. Okay, so we just got back in the car after the date. How do you feel? I feel refreshed, full of life. And like on a scale of 1 to 10, how was I at the date? 11 out of 10. <gasps> baby! You're amazing, baby. Oh my god, baby! Amazing! Stormy, baby! I liked my food a lot. It was chilly, chilly, chilly. spice like you. And yeah, I really enjoyed myself and now Sean's being like a really nice gentleman and he's driving me home. That's it, baby. That's the one. You just look so good when you drive. You're so much hotter than my ex-husband. Like, not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm at home. Sean's dropped me off. And yeah, thank you so much for that date. It was really enjoyable. You liked it? Yeah, I did. Habibi. <laughs> See it, my little Habib tea. Oh. Habib tea. Oh, you're so cute, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, I'll see you soon. Alright, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs>